Allah ya bashimi al shah baha wa kakadash ya bashimi al shah baha shimu kakadash kwatnam dava anasa apostles who are elders who do well blessings and salutations to you brothers out there teaching in enduring truth sincerity um, another blessings and salutations to the new multitude the weak that are amongst terrorists and the women and children that follow the truth sincerity you know uh, with that being said man um, yeah there's there's a uh, know a discussion going around you know within our our loop you know uh just dealing with um contention amongst brethren you know um we'd be a fool to say it doesn't happen you know and you know i just wanted to do a lesson on the angle of just being patient with your brother man you know uh giving him time you know giving him understanding you know, really just being whole, being, having integrity, you know, because integrity goes back to being whole, being what you need to be in every situation in its perfection. You know, when it's time to abound, you abound, when it's time to base, you base. Be forward, to be gentle, you know, be merciful, you know what I'm saying, to be relentless, all right? That's the true, that's the true thing about being a man of the Lord, because it just don't stop with hitting the highways and doing the work. It goes on how you lead and how you follow. How you, you know, as the scriptures say, you know, if a man or not a ruler's house, how can he rule the church? So that's proof that, you know, this truth just don't start, you know, on the highways and end on the highways. This is how, you know, ain't just how big a lesson you gather up, but that, that that's the major part. That's the meat. That's the meat on the plate but then you got you know your potatoes and your veggies and all that other surrounding stuff right so again you know when you're talking about this brotherhood you know there's a lot more than just you know barking out scriptures or can't say barking out i don't want to be condescending towards it, it ain't just referencing scriptures to someone as you know, James say when someone's going through something in James, I believe, chapter 3, and it says, you know, you tell them, God speed, I'll pray for you, knowing you could do something about it. You know, you're not supposed to be that type of type of a person. You know, um, when we're in this truth, uh, Satan's out on the attack. And everybody's not a super Israelite, even though you present yourself as such, like you don't make any mistakes, you knew what you was doing, you know, or, you know, you write, you know what I'm saying? No, because no man is born without sin. So, Jake mess up, you know, as uh, uh, as Mike F said, players fuck up, you know. And when you see a brother mishandle a situation, you know, you shouldn't take that personal. You know, that person's struggling just like you, man. Now, you, you, you should have the balls to address it and the patience to deal with it. That's the two things because many can be, brothers can be offending each other on many things. Brother can offend walking in your house with their shoes on or walking in the house with their shoes off. You know, that shows how uh, uh, fickle, based on where you're from, it shows how fickle these rules are, right? So, you know what I'm saying? You you have to take in that account. And when you're dealing with that, now, when somebody walk in your house with their shoes on, that's easy to do. Hey, brother, you don't do that. But sometimes, brother, be taking it personally. Like, hey, you don't respect me. You don't do this. You don't do that, man. You got to know how to pull somebody to the side, talk to them. You got to know how to say what you got to say, you know? And if you say it all honestly and the truth without any personal attachments to it, you should be able to walk away from the situation with your head held high, you know? But enough of that. Let's get into these scriptures, man. All right. So uh, I want to go into uh, Luke 22 and 28. It says, Ye are they which have continued with me in my temptations. You know, Yahweh Shai is saying that to who? The disciples. He said, You have continued with me uh, in my temptations. See? So, the, you know, the Lord was tempted with, with many things. And they continue with him, okay, through the struggle. He says, you'll know a friend in, um, in poverty, man. You know what I'm saying? In affliction. 
Okay? Because it says even 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 friends would depart from you. You know what I'm saying? But that's dealing with afflictions. But afflictions do come up with going off and fucking up and, 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 and having bad habits, man. You know, that 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 could be detrimental. And the, the key to it, something that I've learned, is that you don't take it personal. And nobody's, like, not communicating because they hate you or ain't nobody uh, slow of mind because they don't want to listen to you or they don't understand you, you're taking it personal. You know what I'm saying? But when you deal with the situation how it is and say, well, well, this and that happened, why did it? And you start evaluating the situation, then you'll understand. Okay? Uh, it says, verse 29 says, and I appoint unto you a kingdom as my father hath appointed unto me. Right? That's showing that's showing what? Sharing, you know, it's even. And, and one one thing that uh, uh, would help you eliminate the mentality of, you know, taking things personally, for one, you're supposed to give all praises unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh for anything that you do. So if you show charity to brothers, you shouldn't um you shouldn't look for nothing in return, man. You shouldn't be saying, Well, I did this for you. And you ain't you ain't do nothing for me, right? That should not be a mentality that we have as as men and women of the Lord, mainly the men. You know what I'm saying? It shouldn't be like, oh, what 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 you going? What I what do I get out of this? Or hey, look at me, because again, it's called halal yahal bashim shot. All right, and when someone's showing you that type of gratitude, as the scriptures say. Uh, 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 get to a godly man and help not a sinner. For well, if, if if the godly man don't recompense you, the Most High will. So there's no reason to look for anything that you do out of love, man. You're supposed to do that and turn your head, you know, and just let it be. As um, I read, uh, I forget, uh, um, in the book of the Stoics with Marcus Aurelius, man, he said, man, um, when people don't, you're, we are we are trees bearing fruit. When people pick from our fruit, you shouldn't take that person. You know what I'm saying? So if your fruit is knowledge, if your fruit is being able to, it's finances, is being able to be constructive with your hands, and people are always coming up to you, you know what I'm saying? Ask you how to do something, or they're mimicking you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 to copy somebody is the best form of flattery. You know, they don't take it somebody out oh, they 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 try to steal my shine or, or you know they, they they don't know nothing, you know. And then when you're in the position of being young, you should not never be afraid of asking questions to learn. You know, uh, uh, me and my personality, if, if brothers know me, but then there's gospel, no, I'm I'm very inquisitive, man. And I don't care, well, I do, I'm not going to step on nobody's toes, but when it comes down time to, for me to improve myself spiritually, I don't have no, no type of uh, pride in asking any type of question, man. I used to, but, you know, when it concerns your soul, you know, you got to ditch that pride, man. That's being a younger, younger uh, brother to an older person. Being an older person to a younger person, you got to have patience. Because everybody don't know what you know. You know? Being here at the camps is almost like being a middle child. You you should be old enough to know this, and then you're too young to be doing that. You know? So you get the, we, we technically, as camp heads, in particular, get the best of both worlds, man. To where we have somebody we could be led by, and then... We have people that follow us, so we get to lead. And leadership is not its not what it's cracked up to be, but that's just a different subject for a different time. You know, it's highly stressful, man. All right? As Moses told Gideon, that's proof right there. Okay? But let's get back to the scriptures. It says, Luke 22 and 30 says that ye may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom. And sit, and sit on thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel. 
right? And it said in verse 31 of the key, it says, The Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan desires to have you that he may sift you as wheat. Okay? And that's through them temptations, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and we fall short. Or you may be already in the mix of falling short, man. And it be uh, uh, reprimandable shortcomings, man. Things that could be fixed. And then you see it and you go to judge it like, oh, man. You know, I know you, you know, like someone told me, I know you're a man of the Lord because you'll say things and, and it'll come to pass. But that's what the spirit of y'all by shooting y'all shot. But, hey, man, I got shortcomings. I don't mean because you see my shortcomings, I ain't no man of the Lord either. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying just like everybody else. You know, what if you see my shortcomings and I not make me a man of the Lord? No, a man that's sincerely trying and giving his his sincere effort towards serving Yahweh by Shimei Shai, that's a man of the Lord. Regardless, I can't say regardless of your performance, but it is regardless of your performance. The highest of the Lord's man. Okay? And it shows that, you know, hey, Satan's out there fucking with us, man. And, and when Satan's fucking with people, you shouldn't look down on somebody in the middle of their afflictions, man, and their, and their temptations. That's why the scripture said, a cord thrice strong is not hardly broken. Because somebody can help you get up when you're feeling down, or you're going off, or you're in the wrong mindset. You know? And then when you're on the receiving end, you're supposed to be humble enough to, to, to fucking listen, man. To give, to give ear to the situation, man. To, to like really say, man, am I tripping? Instead of saying, oh, it's, yeah, I got something to say. Oh, it, it, like, come on, man. Stop getting offended and taking things personally, man. You're, you're especially when you're, you're in a position of being a younger brother to a, to a leader or to your, to, to the person that's over you and, and, and that person can't even address you. You got to talk to this person nice. You got to sit and buy this nigga coffee. <laughs> and, 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 hey, how you day? Look, man, the person should be able to t tell you straight up, look, man, you're doing this and, and it's not working well. You know what I'm saying? It's not right. It's off. You know? If you're that type of person, you got to you gotta calm your ass down, man. To be, to be frank, I don't, I don't know how to put it, but it, it gets frustrating to where, you know, the Lord will put the spirit on a, a person in leadership to run something a certain way. But when you're in a position of leadership, you don't know why the Lord will have you like, man, we need to do this. And you don't really have a good reason. But the spirit telling you, you know, why to do it. You know what I'm saying? And then the person, I don't know about that. I, I, I ain't feeling that. You know? The Lord could say, hey, man, y'all need, need a new camera, man. You know, bump, bump up the arms a little bit. But I don't got, I don't got time for this, and this. I don't got it like that. And then it comes time, and it's revealed that we should have did it. You make things hard. But then when you're a leader, and then you just scrutinize it. Uh, uh, the scriptures tell you when. Well, well um, no, no, no. Yeah, I believe scripture that there's a scripture and there's another reference in it. Um, a quote I read that you know you. You are always trying to correct somebody, man. You know, you don't got to be the know-it-all. Sometimes you got to let people slide, man. You know, you don't wink at their follies, but you, you only can do one thing at a, at a time at times. Some shit can be overbearing. Life can be kicking a brother's ass and he's not showing up to camp all the time and you just getting on him because of that. It's like every single thing a person do is wrong. Or every single thing a person do wrong, you own it. You ain't giving no breathing room, man. That shit is frustrating, man. And you don't want... What's your goal? You know? I had to come to that realization myself when I was... You know, I had a good reason, valuable reason to reprove brothers and correct. And I correct them before we do a lesson. And the spirit's like, hell no, nah, man. You don't do that. You're breaking it. You're breaking... You're quenching, a, you're quenching the spirit, man. By breaking their confidence. You know, like, nah, you, you do that after I find a better spot to do that. Okay? You don't sit there and, and, and in the middle of the warm-up before the game, you start telling niggas how they be fucking up routes and don't be fucking it up. Like, bro, you don't fuck with a person's psyche, man. But let's get back to the scriptures, man. 
and let's see how Yahweh Shai responded to Simon, you know, that Satan wanted to sift Simon as wheat. says, but I, I have prayed for thee that thy faith fall not. That's right. You know, that's, and that's a sincere prayer, man, that you stay strong, brother. You know? And when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. Yeah, use this affliction and shortcomings as a lesson or, or, or as a, 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 a study guide to on how to teach other people, man. All right? That's how the, the bulk of our teachings come outside of prophecy is through the scriptures and correlating it through our experiences, man. That's how we get better at, at, at breaking it down and telling people. You know, but if you're not willing to, uh, I want to say this as a side note, if you're not willing to to uh, make an attempt at anything, you will never get the experience. Therefore, you will never get the breakdowns and understanding on how to help others by trying to be like water and take the easiest way out, man. Okay? It says, uh, Romans 12 and 9, next precept, it says, let love be without dissimulation. You know, and I wanted to get that that real quick, that word, the simulation. You know what I'm saying? So I'll go to uh so I can pull it up right now. So of course that word love goes back to agape. You know what I'm saying? And you go to the word the simulation. It says unfeigned, undisguised sincere you see so it ain't just hey man I, yeah yeah brother i love you brother you, you so cold I, you know i love this brother I love, it ain't just with words man it ain't just with lip service it ain't just with a, a strong hearty shallow warm it ain't with with just endless precepts that's easy you could do that with your eyes closed but getting up and doing something that you don't want to do at all that that you know, that's out your way. You could be doing something that you want to do, but, you know, you got to help this brother out. That's the type of love that, that needs to be uh, uh, being exemplified by the optic, man. And that's the hard part. You know, brother broke down on the road, pulled over to the side. You're sitting there watching a the movie. Brother got a, he going through it. He got a question. Just pause the fucking movie, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't always be that guy, oh, you did this wrong, you did that wrong, you didn't, but when it comes time to get busy, you don't want to put out the energy, right? And then as a younger brother, man, you have to be open, man. You have to be sincere and trust that, yeah, that, hey, this is my brother, man. So if I tell him anything, he'll help me. You know what I'm saying? This is it's sincere love. Let love be without dissimulation, man. Hey, that's a heavy, that's a heavy statement. All right? Not that fake love that, that hey, hey, shall it won't, but then when you need help. As the scriptures say, when affliction come upon me, even a, even a, uh, even friends will depart. We're supposed to be having that love like, like you know, David and Jonathan, man, for each other. To the point that, yeah, you do shit different and something get on your nerves, but that's just that brother, man. And I can tell you, hey, man, hey, I know a brother that can't, man, hey, bro, don't come over here with that today, man. I'm, nah, not today. You know? Like, I, I'm not mad at you. I don't hate you because I disagree with you. That's an ego thing. Or if you get corrected, then that means you ain't shit. That's an ego thing. You know, and there's nothing in life that you 100%, you do it and you're 100% correct at. So you have to get over yourself, man, on both ends. Ain't nothing but pride is what, what causes that that contention, man. So let's get back to Romans 12 and 9. It says, let love be without dissimulation. Okay? Abhor that which is evil. Alright? With evil which means bad times. Like don't don't be a you know a lion in your own house. You know talking about women, but you don't want to be that guy that you walk in a room, everybody gotta tighten up because you going to say something. And it's coming. Or you don't want to be that guy. You're going through it and you're going AWOL mentally, verbally, and physically. Because you you don't you don't got enough 
you know, you too shamefaced. You've been over humble to where you don't want to tell nobody your shortcomings, your problems. Okay? So, uh, verse, uh, it says, cleave to that which is good. Be kindly affectionate, affectionate one to another with brotherly love and honor, preferring one another. And, and, and preferring one another is to lead them. The Lord has put us together for a reason. The Lord put leaders in position for a reason to go through go through half this shit before the younger brothers go through it so you can tell them how to go through it. And if a younger brother, think about it, how you was with your mom, your mom telling you about life and shit, and you think you got it all figured out, and you like, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. I got this under control. And then you find out you don't. That same fucking demon be leaking into the truth too, man. To what brothers think they have the best idea towards it, and then you you hear like, nah, they don't do that. You know, hell, the, hey, when the, uh, when the apostles say, hey, man, I'm be teaching your women. Oh, yeah, my, my woman, she, she believes. She don't be acting up, and then that day came, and it's like, master, fucking listen, man. And then fixing something that, like that, is, is, is done. It's said and done. I did it. And I got to deal with my actions. And that's another thing that with a lot of, hey, with, with brothers, not going to say with a lot of brothers, I just say that, you know, uh, but it's not like it's hella brothers doing it. What I'm, what I'm saying is that you will, you will have, you'll do something wrong, and then because the reason why you did it wrong, that justifies why you did it wrong. No, a wrong is a wrong, bro. You know what I'm saying? If somebody say don't touch this and you touch it, it's like, bro, then I tell you, what the scripture say? Obedience is better than sacrifice. Okay? That's pretty much that's pretty much what it is. If you're in a follower's position, man, if you're in the sergeant's position, obedience is better than sacrifice. Right? Let's continue on. It says, uh, uh, Romans 12 and 11, it says, not slothful in business. So when you talk about love and affection and brotherly love, you should not get tired of doing it, okay? You should not get overwhelmed, tired, uh, and, and you just like, fuck, man, I don't feel like doing, I don't feel like doing this with this brother. I don't feel like talking to this brother. You know, there's been there's been times I felt like that. I felt like chilling, and then a brother come with something very important, and it's like, man, I want to talk about this later. But it's like, no, I got to get up, man, because I don't know what that brother's going through mentally to the point that, I'm not adhering to that, brother. You know, opportunities don't, don't, the windows of opportunities don't last all the time, man. Okay? So you might say you want to talk to that brother later, and that later never come, man. The worst can happen, you might lose that brother. So you're supposed to seize the moment and be, have integrity, be whole in every moment. If that brother needs to be, you know, like, reproved, you're getting this shit, man. Around everybody, alone, you the same person, consistent. You know what I'm saying? When, when, when that brother needs compassion and empathy, you know, which is one of the main things that's, that's hard for people to connect with, because now you got to love thy brother as thyself. You know what I'm saying? And it's not hard to do, but it's hard to empathize with somebody you don't got problem with women, but he do. And, and he, man, just, just, just fuck that bitch, man. You just do the do. Like, like, bro, you got to sit down and understand this person. You know what I'm saying? Now, everybody don't deserve that energy. Like, you out here going crazy. She got you walking up the street and doing all that. Like, bro, get, hey, you got a man to fuck up. But some people struggle in a way that you got to feel like, hey, man, this, this, and that can happen. You know what I'm saying? Me, I don't sit there and, and make any personal justice saying you this, you weak, or... No, it's like, hey, you keep fucking with them bitches like that. It's something bad going to happen to you, but you should stop that. Nothing personal. I just tell you what it is and what, what can happen. And, and, and whatever happened to you, that's enough, that's enough personal for you. That should be enough, okay? Uh... It says, uh, verse 11, not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord, rejoicing in hope, 
patient in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer. Yeah, man, you you know, because one thing about this brotherhood, man, we ain't come together be, to be separated. All right? That, that don't make any sense that the Lord will make you mightier by being by yourself. Why we say go out two and two? Why we say it's core thigh, thrice strong should not be easily broken? So why is that a fucking strategy? It's a carnal strategy at the end of the day. Now, sometimes you need your peace. Sometimes you need to go through certain things by yourself as a man so you can know what you know what kind of fire you can get out. But you got to let brothers know, hey, I'm about to go through this real quick. Now, I got it. I got it. I'll let you know if I need help. You know what I'm saying? But don't sit there and be quiet, silently dying and shit. Or silently offended. Or whatever, man. You know, you should be uh, transparent to the Aki, man. Okay? Because we all men of the Lord, right? So we, as a brother did a lesson a day, hey, man, you're supposed to treat brothers like you would treat y'all shy, man. With the utmost respect. Now, now there's order because ain't nobody going to reprove y'all shy. So we, but we reprove brothers. So it's a balance to it. Okay, so uh, Ephesians chapter four verse one says, "I therefore, the prisoner of Yah uh, of the Avishai, beseech you that you walk worthy of the vocation wherewith you are called." Okay, which is our 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 uh, genetic calling, with all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love. Okay. Forbearing one another in love, man. That's the, you got to deal with brothers, man, and it's not easy. You can read the scripture, say, yeah, forbear, forbear, yeah, you're supposed to forbear, but that shit ain't easy. I understand that, but that's where patience come in. Jake need a dog. <laughs> you need a dog, man, because you got to deal with a dog, bro, and it takes patience. You can't just joke a dog. A dog will shut down. You know what I'm saying? You can't beat on a dog. A dog is shut down. Now, sometimes you, you got to yoke them up and do it. But it's, it's the moment. It's just like a baby. It's just like a child, man. Brothers and brothers are, are, are children in the faith, man. Char Character-wise, got horrible habits that came from the world, man. We just came out the world. The Lord made us renew our minds, not our habits. You know? So, um... Go to this last chapter. I won't go into Sirach. Um, the whole chapter goes in, you know, chapter six. Um, it says six and one. It says, instead of a friend, become not an enemy, for thereby thou shalt inherit an ill name, shame and reproach. Even so shall a sinner that half a double tongue. Yeah, man. Cause one thing about friendship, man. You know, the scriptures tell you how to be a good friend, man. You tell that person to their face. Don't talk behind their back. You know, this person's doing that. If, I, if I'm if i telling a brother in camp, yeah, he did this, I already told this brother what he did. You know what I'm saying? And I'm saying this because of, hey, yeah, you don't do this either, or, or something of, of a point to it, not just me venting. You know, I had to get away from that, that nigga shit, man, because that shit's offensive. It may not be to me because I'm venting, but that person, like, damn, this person talking about me, man. Like, damn, it's like that. Then that's how it, that's how you will come across, man. Okay? It says, Extol not thyself in the counsel of thy own heart. Don't lift yourself up, man, in your own mind thinking you right. Don't tell you. That's why being alone is bad. Okay? That thy soul sh uh, shall be not torn in pieces as a bull strand alone. Thou shalt eat up thy leaves and lose thy fruit and leave thyself as a dry tree. You'll tell yourself, fuck, man, in your own counsel, telling you oh, I'm not good enough or, uh, yeah, I'm right. I know I'm right and they got me fucked up. You're going you're gonna to tear yourself apart, man. It says the wicked soul shall, not, uh, shall destroy him to half it and shall make him to be laughed to scorn of his enemies. Sweet language will multiply friends and a fair speaking tongue will increase kind greetings you know and, I, and it's crazy because i was watching this video this today on uh on instagram it was talking about you know if you pretty much if you're passive and nice then you become ignored because you're not loving sincerely you're just 
always, you have to be honest. When it's time to be real, if you could sit down and tell somebody about themselves, when it comes time to somebody really needing a real answer, they're going to come to that person that's going to keep it real with them. Not the person that's nice to them all the time. Only simple, soft, you know, beta people do that. You know what I'm saying? Well, I ain't going to, I ain't going to say that. That's my opinion, you know, but people that want to hear good, fair speakings will go to somebody that's like-minded instead of going to somebody with integrity that's whole. Now, we all are like-minded. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about a person that don't, he, he's a eunuch, and then you go to him because you got a problem with your woman and you want to leave her. So you're going to go to him. You're going to get the answer. You're going to be like, well, leave her. You don't need no woman. He's going to tell you that. You know what I'm saying? But as the scriptures say, you know, counsel with a godly man who you know to keep the commandments, man, which we all do, but sometimes you take things personally. Says, uh, uh, be in peace with many, nevertheless have but one counsel of a thousand. If thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first and be not hasty to credit him. For some man is a friend for his own occasion and will not abide in a day of trouble. And there is a friend who being turned to enmity and strife will discover thy reproach. Yeah, they're, they're, when they have something against you, they're going to start seeing everything that you do wrong. That's why you got to let that shit go. Don't turn. Don't take things personal to where if somebody reprove you. Now you're looking at them or you do this or you do that. And now you're looking Well, you ain't perfect. It ain't about this. Did you do wrong? That person said you did wrong. Even even the scriptures say about the Pharisees. It says do as they say and not as they do. So if a person's telling you to do right. And the first thing you say, well, well you ain't doing it. Well, a person tell you how to get a million dollars and they ain't getting it. Well, fuck, go get your meal, bro. Well, you ain't doing this, so I ain't going to do it. Okay, you jump off the bridge. Somebody jump off the bridge, you're going to jump top of mentality. You know? Verse 9 says, And there is a friend who being turned to enmity and strife, enmity and strife will discover thy reproach. Again, some friend is a companion at the table and will not continue in the day of, a, of thy affliction. You know, scripture I quoted earlier, but in thy prosperity he will be as thyself and will be bold over thy servants. If thou be brought low, he will be against thee, and he will hide himself from thy face. So you don't, you know, hey, separate thyself from thy enemies and take heed of thy friends. You know, so you got to know what type of friends you have, man. And and your friends, your first set of friends, and really your only friends should be the brothers. Okay? And when brothers show lackluster character, man, you got to hey, gotta tell them about it. You know what I'm saying? Now you may be wrong or he may be wrong, but present it. Talk to him about it. If it's that, if it's to the point that you holding a grudge and shit, man, go sit down and talk to that brother, man. Stop all that pussy ass shit. That holding it's it's easier to sit there and make up shit in your mind and hold a grudge and then try to find something to demonize that person than to sit there and look that man in the face and tell him honestly. You offended me in this area. Shit, yeah, you may look like, oh, you on some whole ass shit. You offended at that bitch ass shit. Uh, types. So what? Yeah, it bothered me, man. You know what I'm saying? Now, every, now again, you if you wrong, it's like, bro, you on some whole shit. Then you got to, and, and you look back and analyze and be like, yeah, that was some whole shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, something's going to come out of it if you're not taking it personally. Okay says, nothing doth contravail a faithful friend, and his excellency is invaluable. A faithful friend is the medicine of life, and they that fear the Lord shall find him. So if you got pride, you got any type of carnal, carnality, the pride of life, egos, and shit like that, you, you're never going to know a good friend. You're just going to think all the good friends are people that high-five you and yes men. Okay? Nothing worse than a yes man. Nothing wor more worse than a yes man. Okay? Verse 17, whoso feareth the Lord shall direct his friendship aright, for as he is, so shall his neighbor be also. So if I'm good, you good. If I'm going off, I want somebody to correct me, so I'm going to correct you. Not to sit there and shit on you and, and belittle you. If you see it as that, you got an ego problem. Somebody say, hey, your shoes are untied, and you say, he hating on me. You look down, your shoes are untied, nigga. Tie your fucking shoes, bro. Like, why are you trying to take it personal? Oh, this nigga ain't no. Jay got to examine themselves, man. But then when, then when you, again, 
when you out here fucking up and you doing all kind of shit and somebody keep correcting you, why you always got something to say? Because you're always doing something. You know what I'm saying? Something that's detrimental to the flock or to yourself. Okay? To be to be a, 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 a camp head or a leader or in any type of leadership position, you got to have empathy, man. You got to know how to love others like you love yourself. That's the two great commandments. Love the most high and love thy neighbor as thyself. It's, it's very simple, man. And that last part is hard because that's not you. So when you, when that person don't eat, ain't like you ain't eating, you full. Okay? It says, uh, 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 my son, gather up instruction from thy youth up, so shall thy find wisdom to thy old age. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, man, when I wanted to get to it, man. Um, I, I think it's very important, man, because... You know, there's underlining issues that could be boiling up. And anybody that's holding on to stuff like that, man, if you can't address somebody to the face, then you on some you on some whole shit, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not calling you a hoe. I'm just saying you on some whole shit. Okay? That's you supposed to be able to tell tell that brother to thy face, man, that you got a problem with all you know, with the dissimulation of love, man. Like, I really don't want to be at odds with my brother. So I, I'm, I'm saying this is what made me offended. And then that brother may say, this is why I did that. And you'd be like, oh, man, I perceive that differently. That's happened so many times to me, man. I've, man, this brother trying to do this and that. He's trying to be funny as it. And I confront the brother and say, hey, man, what, what, you know, this is what you did. And this is how I perceived it. I was like, oh, no, nah, I, I I was just doing this because of that. It's like, oh, my bad. Yeah, it's like your brother. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's resolved. Now, do I look like he? I might walk off and be like, man, this nigga on some, he tripping. But look, I got, I, I resolved it. I don't care how you look at me. You can say I'm this and that. Now that's your turn to say, be forgiven and say, okay, yeah, that brother just, you know, Satan was just probably fucking with that brother, man. And just, and just pass along, man. Resolve the issues. You know. Resolve the issues. How much more that we want your house shot to treat us, man? All right? Be fucking up every day, but then you want to come pray on them and, and, and reveal your secrets or try to hide your and then expect them not to, you know, react to it or, or ignore you or you want mercy. All this, the same communication you want with y'all by Shimmy you should want, you should treat with the flock. The same person that you know has the power to of life and death and and, and 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 sitting on that seat under under your um not under but um on the right hand side of your howl that same person the lord to put you or to somebody in the moments to do the same thing and you got to have patience with them people so that being said i'll say call all y'all by shimmy out shy by the cock of that's broken thumb shall i won't